I had been diagnosed with MS uh, the day before my 23rd birthday, and all of a sudden, my head started spinning the entire world. It felt like I was on the tilt-a-whirl ride from the county fairs when I was a child. I've been in the physical realm my whole life, climbing and skiing, and competitive life. And I started feeling like uh, my performance was going off really rapidly, and I couldn't experience the world as I had. I sort of had to accept my own demise. Uh, I started losing my vision. I started losing my coordination, my balance. And it all started happening pretty quickly. It was terrifying. I had no money, no resources. I was just getting more isolated. My biggest accomplishment was just getting up, getting showered, brushing my teeth, and that was a great, successful day for me. So I was desperate. I wanted my life back. I mean, routinely, uh, patients would come in and would tell me that their spirit was broken. One patient told me that she already um, had her grave picked out five different high-efficacy DMTs failed me. If I hadn't gotten into Dr. Bird, I was going to Switzerland. I was bugging my neurologist, well, what does this mean? What can I do? There must be something. What's coming? And he mentioned Richard Bird and this HSCT transplant. It really felt to me instinctively for some reason like it was a way to stop whatever malfunction was going on. And I said, well, let's do it. HSCT are your own stem cells. It's why there's no patent on it. Drugs modify or suppress the immune system. That's why they slow the accumulation, but they don't stop it. HSCT resets the immune system. Those effector cells that are causing the disease, your lifelong immune cells, are markedly suppressed, and a new group of cells emerge called regulatory cells, T regulatory cells, so forth, that suppress new activity and actually just doesn't slow continuing progression, but actually stops and reverses the disease. Some of the big pharma back medicines that you probably have seen advertised against MS are not as effective as Richard's treatment is. Richard offers healing. I've already started working with uh, Senator Kirk, who's an outstanding individual. We have to get through to our elected representatives that the consequences of their actions have been counterproductive to patients. When I first started in medicine, the goal was you develop something and then you get no profit out of it. You just do it for the good of humanity. But in the 1980s, under Ronald Reagan, they made some changes, and one of them it was the Buy Dole Act, named after Senator Buy in Indiana and Dole in Kansas. And what they did is said that the taxpayer money, your taxes, that are given to NIH to develop research may be used by the universities to make them financially wealthy. And because the university gets royalties off of what drug companies do, it's not in their interest to limit the type of money drug companies make. Pharmaceutical profit paid for by taxpayers exploded. Ten of the top pharmaceutical companies in America made over $110 billion in profits. You know, the system has gotten really rigged for a flow of money for big pharma. The way around it is for patients to become aware, because more important for a politician than the money is the vote. There is nobody anymore looking after the finances of the patients. So patients are beginning to realize they're out there on their own. It's funny, one of the patients once asked me, so what's it like working with Dr. Burt in this stem cell transplant program? It must be like watching miracles happen every day. And it really was. Patients got much, much better. They were able to get a quality of life back again. I stopped being afraid, it was weird. Like, about four or five days after I got the cells, I started to have that intuition that was different than the intuition like you're dying. You're failing, something's going wrong. Ready for a walk? It gave me a whole second life. I feel cured. Now I'm able to work again. I am living my 40s like a completely different person than I was in my 20s and my 30s. I really felt I had someone in my corner. 
And for the first time in my life, I had somebody who really cared. I could never do this before. Nailed it! The government is very risk adverse. There needs to be some magic use of the C word, cure, inside the bureaucracy. A lot of people have difficulty getting HSCT covered by insurance. Pharmaceutical profit paid for by taxpayers exploded. Pablo Escobar would have been jealous. Everybody should have this option. Everyone should be aware that you could get a second chance at life. To let the patients drive the system is the way to go. Doctors are trained to prescribe medications. Nobody is getting rich from HSCT, and that's a big part of what's holding it back. But for you to know about it and not tell me, shame on you. That old approach to treating MS is old and arcane and needs to evolve, and we can fix this. It's going to get better because what I do works, and ultimately what works wins. This is the future, it's just awareness. It's now a pandemic in our medical system that's destroying trust and faith between the patient and the medical system, and it has to stop.